Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm testing out a brand new rifle that I purchased. It's a Palmetto State Armory uh, 556 NATO with uh, 1 in 7 twist barrel. It also has a 20 inch barrel. Uh, it has a standard birdcage uh, A2 flash hider on it. It has an MOE fixed uh, stock on it that I kind of like, well, with the exception of I had to add a pad to it to kind of extend the length of pull by an inch to make it more comfortable for me to shoot. It has an extended latch on it that makes it really easy to uh, to charge your handle uh, to uh, charge the next round, which I think is is a lot better than the standard. It has a CMC trigger in it uh, that's set at about a drop-in trigger that's set at about. Uh, two and a half to three pounds, has anti-walk pins, uh, so far so good, uh, has a very fast reset, um, so far that I like the trigger, with, at least with my shooting today. I accomplished quite a few things today, I did all things at once, and you can do this as well. The brand new scope is a 4x16x44 UTG. Uh, uh, that I mounted on it. I have a 20 MOA rail to get it a little bit higher uh, for my side alignment. I kind of like that and also it gives you more room for scope adjustment for long range shooting. I tested some new bullets, some uh, Spear Gold Dot 62 grain bullets. Because of the 1 in 7 twist it says it can shoot heavier grain bullets and I sure uh, do and am a fan of the Spear Gold Dot bullets. Um, they are a little bit more expensive, but uh, this is not a frangible, nor is it a full metal jacket. This is, a hunt, this is a hunting round that will expand, that I can probably use for just about any game that I want to shoot that's deer size or smaller. Um, I tested two different powders today. Uh, I tested uh, uh, CFE. 223 uh, Hodgton powder and good old fashioned standby BLC2 uh, and worked up loads uh, to try to find what this 20 inch barrel was capable of. Uh, after firing about 12 rounds I went ahead and cleaned the rifle. There was quite a bit of copper fouling so keep that in mind anytime that you're testing a new rifle after about 12 to 15 rounds you may want to do a thorough cleaning on the barrel including uh, uh, your anti-copper uh, remover because boy were the patches ever blue so on a brand new barrel it, it picked up quite a bit of copper. Uh, the shooting itself was you know pretty good. Uh, uh, my load uh, data, my workup load data was right in line with uh, what is in the spear manual. Uh, here's CFE 223 there's my uh, three, three, and three, so you can see where uh, you know the middle load kind of opened up somewhat, and I'm going to settle probably for that final load right there. All of these were at 100 yards. Uh, for the BLC2, a little bit, a uh, little bit more wild uh, uh, in terms of groups, but you can see uh, this is one, two, and three and four, so the top load up there on uh, your right hand side uh, produced right at 3,000 feet per second, so that's probably where I'm going to stick. Uh, here comes a truck, so it's going to make a little bit of noise. But anyway, it was uh, good to go ahead and do all three things today and uh, and thanks for watching uh, please like subscribe ask a question I'm going to be doing a lot more shooting with this rifle because it is a 20 inch rifle thanks for watching goodbye how you doing, how you doing today? oh it's a good day to go shoot <laughs>